Hey there, thanks for tuning in. This is Mrs. J. Today we're going to look at cheap sheet, shape number two, right here. So we'll remember that the grid spacing is a half inch per square. So we can take a quick look at this. We can approach it from this way or this way. Yeah, I think we'll take a nice box, a nice rectangle. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's five inches going across this way. If I made a whole box instead of all this stuff cut out, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So three inches deep, five inches by three inches. I should say height. So let's take a look at that. See if we can pull this off in Fusion. Open up your Fusion. If you watched the video for sheet number one, you'll see that we created a new project. We called it Cheap Sheet and we pinned it to the top. So I'm just going to open that up and make sure I'm still in there. Once you're in here, you don't have to keep coming back to it. You can just leave it open. Close that tight there. Everything you make will be in there. Okay, so we're going to create a new sketch and I'm going to put it on this plane right here. It looks like it's the XY plane for me. I'm looking here, XY. Click right here. I'm going to use a rectangle tool and click on the origin, drag it to the right. We want five inches across the bottom. Tab, three inches going up with the height. So tab to toggle in between the two. Hit enter when you're ready. If you happen to have clicked it before you were able to put in the numbers, it's no problem. You just double click put in the right numbers three and five okay escape on my keyboard let's go ahead and finish that sketch so we're just going to be a rectangle and then we're going to cut out the rest so let's go look, take a look at the picture real quick i'm going to make this pretend all that's not there and we're just going to make this box so we want to go back one two three four five boxes which is two and a half inches five times 0.5 two and a half inches so let's do that um, extrude. I want to go back in the other direction, so negative 0.25 right here. And you can just drag it that much. It wouldn't matter if you went forward, but I'll just keep it neat. Go back. Click OK. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the picture again. I'll say, mm -hmm -hmm. we can either cut down this part in the center or we can come all the way across here. I think we'll cut out this part in the center here. Looks like it's one inch on either side and it goes the whole way. Open this up, create a new sketch. I'm gonna click on the top. We're not using the planes anymore because we've started our part. So click on the top. Remember it puts right in front of you so it rotates it when it does that. I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to go right along this grid spacing here. If you don't have it, it's no worries. Just make sure you're on the black line. Click and drag down and click again. I'm not going to worry about the dimensions. I'm going to come up here and do the dimensions. So you have to make sure that you had clicked from, from the line to the line. Don't miss that. So just zoom in there and make sure you're on the line. Got my dimension tool. I'm just going to click on this line, click on the outside line. So I click both. And then I drag this way. So see how it says 0 0.968? I needed that to be 1, and I just missed it. So I'm going to click 1. And I'm just going to double check it on this side. Usually it yells at you, so I'm going to click both of them. The object I just made, and then the edge. Oh yeah, I missed it there too. <laughs> Left click, type 1, enter. So now I know I've got the right size box. I could have done the dimensions in here, but I needed to make sure they were properly away from the edge here, so it worked well. Okay, so I'm gonna hit escape on my keyboard, finish the sketch, go to ISO view so I can get my orientation back. And we're gonna drop this down. Let me take a look at the picture again. It looks like it's an inch from the bottom. So if it was three inches high, we're gonna drop it down two inches. So extrude. I know we're used to extrude to making something go up and make it add material, but I'm gonna take away material. And you'll see that the operation changes from cut. When you were adding material, it was join. See that? But we're going to take away. So cut. All right, I want it to go down to negative 2. There you 
go. So type that in or drag it properly, click OK. Okay, so far so good. Looks like there's a little square in the center there. It looks like it's one inch from that edge that we just cut out or two inches from the corner. Same thing on both sides. It looks like it's a half inch from the front edge and it itself is an inch, two inches from the back. So let's see what we can do there. <laughs> Create a new sketch and I'm going to write on that surface where I want to put it. There we go. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I'm just going to pop it in there. It doesn't really matter where. We can fix it up later. All right, so let's just get that in there. Hit escape. And let me double check the size of that. It was one inch all around. So let's make it the right size first. So dimension, click here. It's got one, so I'm just gonna hit escape because I know it's good. Hit dimension again. Oh, I guess I couldn't get out of that. Okay, dimension, check this one. And that is not one, so I'll hit that one. So make them both one. In case you wanna see it on my screen, I'll put it there. And then we're good. Now we're gonna use a dimension tool to put it in the right spot. So dimension tool. I'm gonna to click one of the edges that I haven't used yet, the edge right next to it, and drag off the object. One inch away. I know if I do one inch here, sorry for the bell, that it's okay on the other side. Just gonna wait for that bell. Next thing we're gonna do is make sure it's the right space down here. So click on the bottom, click on the next bottom. I'm gonna drag it this way left click and I've got 0.5 and I think that was correct. Half an inch, yeah. So I don't even have to finish that. I can just escape on my keyboard, escape again, and it's all good. Finish my sketch. Okay, so I didn't have to dimension everything because once I made it half inch from here, it had to be one inch from the back. It had no other choice. Now we're just gonna take away the material with the extrude tool. Extrude, click on what you just made and drag it out. You can be very specific and make it, I think it's one and a half inches, or you could just drag. You can drag away from your object. You can, you can do as much as you want. It just goes into cyberspace there, All right? So it doesn't matter. And then click OK. Okay, let me get my orientation correct. Okay, so we're looking good. Now we get the fun part. Um, let's look at the picture. So we've got this, we've got the overall shape. We need to cut out these curves. It looks like they're one inch from the bottom and a half inch from the top. So I haven't tried this in, in a while. So let's see what we can do. Let's do a new sketch. And let's come out here on the outside, right on the outside edge here. It's gonna rotate it so everything's gone. Let's take, oh, I have an idea. Remember, there's no right way or wrong way. It's just that the least amount of steps should be great, but um, however your brain sees it and gets it done is great also. I'm gonna use the line tool up here on the left. I clicked it and I'm going to come out. I have to check the picture again, sorry. A half inch. I'm gonna make a half inch line up here. Click exactly on the corner and drag, well, type 0. 0.5. There we go, 0. 0.5. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I think it was one inch. So I'm gonna do, that was 0.5, I made that line. Now I'm gonna make this line. You don't have to make them, but I think it'll just serve as like reference points to make it easier. I'm using the pan tool to move it around in between. I have to escape on my keyboard to toggle back and forth. So line tool, origin, and go up one inch. Type one, enter. So I think if I throw a circle in the top left corner and line it up with these points, I should be good. So circle tool, hit that top left corner and drag to either one of these points. This one, see how it lines up also on the bottom left or this one and it also lined up on the top, the top right. So either way, click and then zoom out. I'm gonna go into isometric mode so I can see it. So I just put a circle right there I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to finish my sketch. You don't have to rotate it. I just want to see it. If you hit the home button, you can rotate it and you can watch this happen. This is going to be pretty cool. Hit the extrude button. Pick your circle. You might have to pick both pieces. See it now I only have one part. <laughs> That's not exactly what I'm looking for. I want two parts. 
Now my choice is going to be to add material or remove material. I like the cut process. So I dragged it away. You can go exactly to your edge or you can go more. It's negative 5.00, but you can always go more as long as you're cutting. And then click OK. Ah, look at that, it's so pretty. I want to take a look in here, see if I go all the way through, yeah. All right, good job, add some color, be fancy. As always, don't forget to save your work. And this is sheet number two. All right, thanks for watching.